Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can securely share files from one device to another device over the internet or a local area network so that it's completely secure, nobody can spy on what you're sending. Uh, so if you have certain data protection uh, precautions you have to take for perhaps your profession or something, you can do that and it will be secure during transit. Uh, you can use this system to operate your own type of Dropbox system using devices that you have and the space that you have on those devices. You can back up your files, you can share files between people uh, securely and safely. So if you look in the description under the video, you'll find a download link. So if you click that, you'll get to this screen and download the version for your operating system. So in this case, I'm on Windows. So I shall hit Windows. And then I will close that. And once that's downloaded, go ahead and run it, whether through Chrome here, where I can just click it easily to run it, or if you have to just go to the folder where you downloaded it to and run it from there. So I will click this, hit Run and it needs administrative privileges to run. So we'll hit yes to give it admin. You want to really leave this as standard because this will make everything easier for you. It'll run with the system. It'll just start syncing automatically and it just makes it easier for you. So we'll hit install. Close the browser. Now, in order to standardize the experience and show you from start to finish how to do this, we're going to skip this screen. So hit the check mark here to say you've read the terms. Obviously, you should read these uh, at your own leisure. And then hit the skip button. So this right here is the main user interface for BitTorrent Sync. Now, all we have to do is create a folder where we want to be able to put things inside of it to send them off to another location. So I'm going to right click on my desktop. You could do this in any location create a new folder and I'm going to call it my shared files. So then in BitTorrent Sync, which you will also find running as a little blue circle icon with arrows on it, you can click that to bring this up. You hit on the my sync tab, add folder. So what we need to do is we need to hit the browse button and navigate to where that folder is. So I put it on the desktop and it's called My Shared Files. So I select that and then I hit Generate to generate a folder secret. Now, this is an extremely long, extremely good randomization uh, secret code here. And this is going to be the full access code. So if you ever give this code to somebody, they can put files into your folder and they can copy files from your folder to their system. It will automatically download them and sync the files between the different devices. So now we've generated a code, we hit OK. And now, whatever we put inside this folder will go out to other locations when we've given those other locations access. So I'm going to create a test text file here. And I will put some information in here. And save it. And close it. So now, I have a test file in here waiting to go. So now what I can do is I can click, and it's indexed it. We can see now there's one file in there. We can click the folder once, and hit info. And now, what we get is the full details. We can see the full access secret, which as I said, gives somebody full ability to have a copy of what's in your folder and also to add things to it so that you will get those files. And the read only secret will only allow the person you give this code to, to be able to take a copy of your folder. So they won't be able to put things into it. They won't be able to modify it in any other system other than their own. They'll be able to use the code download all the files to their own folder, and that's all they can do. Then on top of that, to make sure that it's ultra secure, 
Instead of giving them these codes which never change, you can create a temporary one-time secret code so that once the code is used, it's dead. Nobody can use that code again. And how that works is when you use that one-time code, it goes through the BitTorrent Sync system and is able to use that smaller code to be able to get the real code in a secure manner. So therefore, if somebody was to hijack, like if you gave someone the secret in a private message and some shadowy person or entity got a hold of it and used it for themselves, if you use a one-time secret, you would know that something is wrong because when the real person that you want to have access tries to use that code, it won't work. So then you should worry and then come back into this screen and make a new full access secret and then make a new one-time code and give it to them in a way that isn't going to be hijacked. So what I'm going to do for testing purposes is I'm going to create a full access one-time secret code. So now I have the code. I'm going to highlight the code, right click and hit copy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a different computer and we're going to use this code to be able to get access to these files. Now this is going to be a full access code so I shall be able to put files into that folder from the other computer and they will show up on this computer as well. So I'm going to hit OK on that and I'm going to switch over to the other computer. OK, so this is the other computer. So I'm going to make a new folder I'm going to call it Toots Teach Files. And I'm going to do the same process on here. I'm going to go on Add Folder. And this time, I'm going to paste in the secret that I just got from the other computer that I would have passed on to the person. And then I'm going to choose my folder on this computer, which I've also put on the desktop. But this time, I've called it Tuts teach files. So then I hit OK, and you see pending receipt. Now this is this has received the true code now, and as you can see, 30 bytes, one files, and it's given me a message here telling me that the sync is completed. So if I go into here now, I can see here's the test file on the new computer with the text file in it. Now if I create a new file. Let's create a rich text file. Open it up. Okay. And we can see that the sync was completed. So now, if I swap back over to the other computer, now when I click here, it says started syncing. So now it's been synchronizing the files and now everything is up to date. So everything that was added or changed from the other computer has now been sent over to my real computer that I originally set this folder up on. So now when I open it, I have full access to everything. So that is the basics on how to set this up. And this is a secure system. Nothing can grab those files while they're in transit. Nothing can spy on you what you're doing. So like I said, if you have certain uh, legal requirements because of the types of file uh, for your profession, that you have to secure them properly. This is a really good way and it's relatively easy compared to some other systems like setting up secure FTP and things like this. This is a lot simpler and it has nice security features built in, for example, with the one time code that I showed you. Now, in order to get the maximum speed possible, if you go into preferences, you'll see that there's a listening port. If your computer is behind a router or router, depending on how you pronounce it, or some other kind of firewalling device, you will have to take this port and port forward to your internal IP address. Now, usually you can find this from the router, but if you don't know, you can click on 
command prompt, which in your case, you would go here and type CMD and just click it. And then you can type IP config and press enter. And you'll see a bunch of different information, but if you scroll up, you'll see something which likely looks like this. It's usually something that starts with 192.168 dot and then something. So as you can see, the only thing that's showing up for me is this. So this IPv4 address is my internal network address for the computer that I'm on right now. So I would go into my router, which in this case would be the default gateway. So I would put this into a web browser and log in as an admin, and I would add the port shown here as a forward to the IP address of my computer, which is right here. And what that does is it opens the port to the outside world so that other people can connect externally into this computer to be able to get a full direct connection from their system to my system. It can work without having this forwarded, but the speed won't be as fast. So just bear that in mind. Also, if you perhaps you want to limit the speed at which people can download or upload, you can put the speed limits here in kilobytes per second, and that will restrict the amount of speed that's used by BitTorrent Sync. Now, also, there are some advanced settings, but you shouldn't need to go tweaking with these, so I'm not going to cover them because there's really no need. All you have to know is that this program will have a lower priority for accessing the files on your hard drive. So if you have other things going on, this BitTorrent Sync is not going to choke up your drive with read-write accessing all the time because it's going to sit there and take a back seat and just get everything sent as quickly as possible with as small of an impact to your usage of the computer as possible which is also where the download and upload rate limiting comes into effect in terms of your internet connection. So this is able to transfer everything quickly, securely, and in a way that isn't going to choke up your system when you're trying to send files. So I hope this has been useful, and I'll see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you. Thanks.